Welcome to PeopleNet. This video will show you how to set up your PeopleNet tablet and how to send and receive messages. The technician will leave the system at the login screen. Tap your finger in the driver ID box to activate the keyboard. If your ID begins with the letter, you will no longer have to put a zero before it. Simply type in the letter, and then for everyone, switch from letters to numbers by touching the button on the lower left corner. Once you've entered your ID, touch the Next button. Follow the same procedure to add your password, which is the same information as your driver ID. Touch Done. A data call is placed to retrieve your logs. Please be patient during this process. It normally won't take this long, but it could be up to a half hour before all the information is received. This is a special instruction for teams only. The second driver of the team should touch the driver 2 button and then follow the same instructions as before to fill out the information. The first time you log into the unit, touch the USA 70 8 hours of service icon. PeopleNet will automatically switch to Canadian hours of service when you enter Canada. Most drivers will touch the off-duty icon to continue login. California domicile drivers have the option of selecting on-duty. Touch the Trailer 1 button to display the keyboard. Then enter your trailer number. If you do not have a trailer, enter five zeros. Touch the Next button three times to move through Trailer 2, Trailer 3, and optional remarks. In the Enter New Shipping Information box, enter your PRO number or five zeros if you're not under a load. Touch the Done button, and then if necessary, touch the down arrow to close the keyboard. You will be prompted to certify logs. Do not certify your logs at this time. Touch No. Confirm your login details, and then touch Accept. Login is now complete, and the CFI home screen will be displayed. Once you have logged into PeopleNet, do not return to Omnitrax or Qualcomm. Because of the pop-up window and flashing icons in the upper right-hand corner, we know a new message has arrived. We can see there are two messages. The darker colored one has been read. The light gray is new. Touch on it to open it, and then scroll through the message to see the entire text. This message requires a reply. Touch the Reply button, and then Standard. Touch in the area below standard email to activate the keyboard. Type in your message. Close the keyboard. Touch send. Then touch now. After the message has been sent, to return to home, touch the PeopleNet icon in the upper left hand corner to exit. If you need to send a message to your fleet supervisor or to operations, touch messaging. Touch email. Touch Standard, Touch Contacts, Touch Link Dispatch. Link Dispatch will alert your fleet supervisor or anyone that is covering the fleet. It will provide the most prompt reaction to your email. Touch Accept. Touch in the area below Standard Email. Type your message. Close the keyboard. Touch Send. Touch Now. Touch the PeopleNet icon to exit. If you need to send a form message, for example to go on the board, touch Message. Touch Form. Find the message you want to send, in this case, number 2, and touch the corresponding form. Touch in the multi-choice field and enter the required information. All fields with a red asterisk require an entry. Each window has a response and an OK prompt to close it. If you are under a load or continuing on with a relay, you must select Go on the board and enter the correct trailer number so that the load and workflow can be sent to the truck. Scroll to see if all fields are complete. Touch Send. Touch OK. Touch the PeopleNet icon to exit. 